How much do you yeah, owe? Yeah, I know, a lot, a lot. How much? Like, I, I had an accountant. How I think, much? I think it's about maybe 60. Oh, if my, if my what is this? Why, why, why'd match, you even tell me? What am I supposed to do? Because you asked like four times. <laughs> I didn't want to. My name is Krista. I'm 33. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do in Vegas for a living? I am a stripper. All right. I've never been to one. Is it a good time? Um, It's fun. It's yeah. fun. I always say it's the only place in Vegas where you went over the house. It's a lie. There you go. I just assume it's going to be stinky and sticky. So no, I work like, at a nice oh. one. There oh. are those, but I, I got into a good one. Gotcha. What are we bringing home uh, just in general on a monthly basis? What's our average? Because I know... There's a lot of tips and everything, right? So this is going to be up, down, up, down. It goes up and down. Yeah, I'd say average. average, maybe like 12. Thousand? Yeah, because I make, wow. I'm at about like 120 to, so probably about 10, 120. I get, um, I get VA disability. So I really? get, yeah, I was in the Navy for six years. Oh, sh so, what, oh, very cool. Okay. And what is that on a monthly basis? I get 2000 for that and free health care. Mm -hmm. So can't put a price on that. Wow. Uncle Sam is my favorite sugar daddy. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, in the club, like it, it really varies. Like some are really sucked. I don't think I made more than like four or five grand in the summer, but like yeah. October was pretty good. Um, November was really, really good. November, I probably pulled in like thirteen, maybe. Damn. Yeah. No. So people it's just people just. It's stupid. It's worth disappointing wild. my parents for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. What what led us to this? Because you're you're the first person that's in that uh, in this world on the show. Congratulations. Thanks. Woo woo. What has led you to the Navy to club? Yeah. So the the path from that was. I was, I got stationed in California. When I was stationed in California, I was like, the rest of America, I'm going to stay here. Um, I started going to school and I was working like restaurant jobs and stuff. And then um, I got an opportunity to do bottle service at a club in San Diego. And then from that, I kind of got into the modeling world. They did a lot of atmosphere modeling. And, um, and then I had to quit that job to move because I didn't get into the school that I wanted down there, but I got into a really good school in Orange County. So I moved out of San Diego. I went to Orange County. I was broken. Um, I was going to school. I was actually living in a van at the time. And um, I wanted to save my GI Bill because the GI Bill, it only gives you like 36 months. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do like a grad program, like law oh, okay. school or something. So because, um, you know, that's more expensive than undergrad, I tried to pay as much of my undergrad as I could out of pocket. And um, I met some girls who lived in Vegas who were like workers. And um, the one girl was like, you know, you should you should become a. And how old are you at the time? Huh? How, how old were you at this time? So I was 29. Okay. So this is, I got in kind of relatively late. Yeah. Um, cause I got into modeling late, you know, I was like okay. a lot of the agencies and stuff, they wouldn't even see you if you were over the age of 23. Yeah. So, um, I auditioned at the club. I'm still there. It's the only club I've ever worked at. I got hired and, um, yeah, I dropped out of school for the first time. <laughs> I was, I for about six months and then COVID happened. And then I went back to school. And then um, when the clubs opened up, I dropped out again and moved to Vegas. What about longevity? This is no offense to... No, I know. There's a time limit. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. Well, Trust I was gonna, I was going to say, what what is that? No offense to biology. But. So, you know, there's there's a girl at the club. It all depends on, like, how you take care of yourself, sure. you know. Um, but I know girls in their 40s and one girl's in her 50s, and she still works. She doesn't and, look like she's 50, but she is. And they do as well? They're making, like, I mean, six they're figures? there. I don't know. I mean, mm. I don't know if... if I, I, I don't really ask, like, how... Okay. People do, you know. Um, the longevity you see you being able to do this for decades. No, I can't do it for decades. Oh, you hate it. Yeah, I hate it. It's oh, like you're cold. No one ever prepared me for how cold strippers oh. are all the time. And um, fair enough. You know, you you do deal with some rough clients, rough customers. Yeah. So, um, but like it's it's such a 
I, I mean, I, I can't, I studied sociology. Like I yeah. always say the only way to make money with a sociology degree is to become a s- So like- I wasn't gonna say it. I say it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I like say it all the time. So um, I, I gave myself, you know, like when I first started, I said I would do it for five years. I took a year off for COVID. So, you know, I'm still on like year- Four but, but, maybe. What, what then? Well, so I'm trying to. Start You've also a business. invested into it. I, I have. Yeah, I've I've invested into it. Well, something was done somewhere here that cost a lot of money. Yeah, no, I had my <laughs> done. Yeah. I didn't want to hear the story about that, right? I had them right. done previously. A <laughs> story. I had them done previously. Oh. One of them fell out of the pocket. Same. <laughs> and it was like rolling around on my chest like an egg yolk. It looked and felt really weird. So I had to get that fixed. So that was Maybe there's a weirdo out there that would spend even more money for that, though. In our digital era, data brokers profit from selling your personal details to robocallers, spammers, and those curious about you. This is exactly why I always team up with today's video sponsor, Aura. Aura diligently identifies these data brokers and efficiently handles your opt-out requests. These data brokers must legally delete your information when asked, but navigating this can be overwhelming. Aura simplifies this, making it much less stressful for you. Aura also provides an all-in-one solution, including a password manager, parental controls, antivirus, identity theft insurance, and more, all with their easy-to-use software. This allows you to have a worry-free online experience. Now, you can concentrate on what's truly important. Aura empowers you to reclaim control of your private information with an exclusive 14-day free trial. As I often emphasize on this show, your private information should stay private. Don't let others profit from it. Sign up for Aura at Aura.com forward slash hammer or through the link in the description below. No, if it was uh, it was physically uncomfortable. I was like, I gotta get no, it fixed. No, I'm, yeah, like absolutely. I would go on my my like sleep expensive. on my back. It'd be in my my air, air or my armpit. Yeah, no, it was expensive. Yeah, but I I know I can make it back. I did the yeah, the but you're only screening. giving yourself a year. I make mean, grand a month. Uh, yeah. Well, if well, we make I, twelve grand a month, then why does any of this exist? Because we're about to get into some of the highest total debt balances. I've seen on the show in terms of individual debts. So yeah, yeah we make a lot of money, but why does it exist? Well, yeah. Well, okay. So I, okay. The job thing, I, I was kind of back into a corner a little bit. A lot of this credit card yeah. stuff mm-hmm. is because I purchased a property in Arizona about an hour outside of Vegas, but I plan on turning that into an Airbnb slash like event space. Oh, I have credit card debt. Yes. You, why well, do you have credit card, debt? credit card debt because of the renovations i was doing like a full gut oh, and reno no. you're putting it on credit cards though i paid a lot out of cash a lot of it i but paid you're cash. still putting this balance is at nine thousand ninety four dollars and there's still purchases even though 156 dollars is accruing an in interest 600 dollars payment congratulations but 505 dollars was spent the balance went up the balance went up, and you are so close to that ten thousand dollar credit limit. You're right; you make money. Why does this exist? This is accruing interest. I know. You're and what? What? Uh, we're, okay, so we put our internet. Sure, we put some gas there. Sure, but we're getting some beans and brews and pie hole. I mean, that was that was a trip I took. So that wasn't in Vegas. I usually eat. No at more home. trips. No more eating pie hole. You go up there and you show your pie hole. That was a terrible no, joke. That's illegal. <laughs> I, work at a I, I, I had club. to get it out. I felt it coming before the episode. I needed something inappropriate. One inappropriate joke. Wherever you find them, go ahead. Just <laughs> just insert them in there. Snap fitness as well. And just some. Um, I, need, I need a gym. I get half naked in yeah. front of strangers. I need a gym. Yes, very fair. Very fair. Uh, that's illegal, huh? Full nude, yeah. There's only one full nude club, and I'd never worked there. Interesting. Yeah. I wouldn't have known again. I've never been. But. And so, actually, there's laws about how much, like, square inches are on our thongs. We have to have at least, really? like, two or three square inches. Oh. Yeah. Three inches is huge. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's when I'm feeling modest. So, we owe $9,094 on this card. I think that's a little less because, like I said, I I, $94 I less? paid a bunch. No, I think I paid, like, probably close to, like, 500 or 1000 there are going to be so Since many I people said, angry at me for the inappropriate jokes, by the way. That's fine. I'm about to get called many awards. I'd rather them light you up in the comments than me. Fair. I'm doing it. <laughs> so that, yes, yes. 
That's because I have no filter. Definitely not. Okay, and we have a minimum monthly payment of $247.16. And yeah, we shouldn't be spending on the... $1,269 of interest has been stolen from you so far on here. And $10 of fees. That's a lot. Earn this period was $10. $10 of the cash Costco back. Rewards. We lost $156 this period in interest. So, great. This was all renovations, but you're still spending on it. Why are you spending on a car that's almost at its max that you can't pay off? So here's what I did. I, the two credit cards, because I have them all like on my online shopping and stuff. I canceled those cards and I have not used them since. I've just been paying them off. I got the new cards in the mail and I haven't even called to, to get those. Like, like you can look on my Costco app. It says you have an alert. You have to call us and what? get your card set up. Cause I, well, I like said that I lost the I card. Don't care, right? So oh. I don't, I wouldn't put any more on it. Okay. So I'm not using this card. I don't even physically have what it. What about all the other ones? Did you do the same for every other card? I only have two cards and yes. Okay. Consumer loan bill. So is this like a personal loan? Yes. It's a very tiny balance at $20,130. Okay, so here's what this one is. Oh, boy. And yep. I'm hoping that you think that this is kind of smart. So what, what's the date on this one? Uh, the starting November date? November to October. When did I get the loan out? It doesn't say. Okay. It's also a 7%, which is not great. Oh, no, this is my truck then. Right. This is my truck. So, okay, I had a minivan. I... It got into an accident. It wasn't my fault. Do you so. need your, a truck? You're a what are you lugging? Uh, hold on. Now, listen. I do a lot of like, I'll like buy furniture and like flip it. Like I strip it and like refinish it. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> with the house, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of the renovations myself. So, um, you know, I just felt like I needed a truck. I wanted something to tow. In hindsight, like. in hindsight, like. perhaps I should have gotten something a little bit more modest. Yeah. What are, like okay, if you're making that, is it making up the 7% that you're losing on this? Is it is it are you profiting? Are you profiting over this after the $564.97 on a monthly basis? So, compared to the van that this replaced, the interest rate on that van was 13%. I don't care. I don't give a shit about that van. I care about the truck that's in front of me right now. And I do too. I love this truck to death. It's, it's a great truck. Americans and their trucks. You're not carrying around anything. You're carrying around I, a new. How do you know that? You're carrying around a new job to your job. I, you're not no, carrying around anything in else. Arizona, I do a lot. I've been doing like, like I've done all the material acquisitions. You need a truck for that. You need a truck to like, like I literally oh, so gutted it myself. You really? Yes. Oh, okay. Man, you went into a lot of debt for for just self renovations. Then I, I mean, I hired some of it, but like I've been doing like a lot of like I've been buying a lot in like materials. Like I've been getting like good stuff, but um, ninety five percent of my driving, yes, it's too much. I'm not utilizing the truck to its full potential. But That's what most Americans do, they get a truck and then they take they go to the grocery store. But I mean, it. I I have one vehicle versus two. You know, it's like. You're one person. Why would you have two? Well, for when I do truck stuff to when the non-truck yeah, stuff. Yeah, but is it profiting? I mean, it will. I think okay. it will. Okay. Also, your past due. I already paid that. I, I, I got You the better pay. have. I do not want to see I'm, past due I'm ever again. Date. I think I'm paid up until January. so far January. has been over $1,000. Yeah. They're expensive. I always say you get a better interest rate on a job than you can a federal <laughs> student loan. And unlike an education. What is the interest rate? make you money zero percent if i pay it off in a year and i'm already like what i got like 8500 7500 left i'll pay that off end of the winter yeah i couldn't see your current balance you're 7400 i believe so i can pull that up if you'd like uh and it needs to be paid off by next october end of september no next september end of september okay so nine months so you need to do 822 dollars a month which is manageable Close to what you're doing. You didn't fully do that in October. You did it in uh, um, November, though, which is good. You played a little catch-up in November. By the way, even though I make little goofs and gaffs because I'm just trying to be a silly little boy, I, I totally get it. Totally chill. I support anything. Do whatever the f*** you want. 
And then, of course, obviously the medical side of it, where you had to do it because, you know, whatever, egg yolk or whatever. Like, um, do I like that? Well, I think you make enough where you could have been able to pay this in cash, but it is 0%. So if we're managing it right. It was an emergency thing. Well, which is when you have an emergency fund. Yeah, that I don't have. Exactly. But for someone making your money, you definitely should. Uh, and, but then I'm like, yeah, 0%. Sure. Arbitrage the difference. Guess what? That's not 0%. That's like seven. No, 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 no. But I'm saying on a credit card, we're not fully paying it off. And as a shit ton of money, so I don't think you're the person to take advantage of 0% stuff. And we're only a couple months into it. Like, who knows what it would have been a year from now if we didn't meet now. Here's our other card. Again, we put a little bit of payment. Congratulations to it. Then we spent $838.08. $399 of interest was stolen from you. That's insane. In a monthly basis on a credit card, that's insane. You know what else is insane? Credit card limit, $27,000. It's sitting at $27,016. Charging you. Well, you're over the credit limit. So we have an... Oh, that's that I paid like three grand of that. You better have. What's so it at now? Because you went over the credit limit. It's at 24? It's at 24. I mean, this is still unacceptable. I know. What was this? Was this was this another house card? No. I mean, I did put some I put some plumbing on there. I put like three grand of plumbing. Um, I bought a bunch of Home Depot. So you just... Well, no. It's you for, make enough money to cash flow life if you manage it correctly. There's no reason for you to be in this debt. Especially since your job is not a longevity job. Really, everything that you should be making should be going towards investing because it's that kind of job, kind of like the job that I'm in right now. It's not a longevity job. I, well, I don't know. Depends on the YouTuber. But either way, that's why I'm investing everything. You know you have a year left, yet we have a year left of the five years we were going to do, and we're tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars in credit card debt. Got what? two years left because COVID, two. I lost a year. Oh, okay. I lost a year in COVID. So and, you're over halfway through. And that was just through. a mental thing. Like, if I'm doing well, like. You said you hate it. I do, but I like the money. I know, but I it, like that do you do you find yourself the ATM makes when I go make deposits? I agree. <laughs> I agree. I just uh, if if truly you you mentioned a couple dangerous situations, I don't want you to be in danger. Like that's unacceptable in my mind. So I just I don't want you to ever be like afraid, right? Like there's a difference between not liking a job and being afraid. If you ever truly do feel afraid, I don't want you to be there. I mean, there's security and cameras and stuff. Sure, but you did mention being afraid, so that's I'm Sometimes. just gonna say that. Yeah. Yeah. No one should be afraid of their job. So, I mean, that's just, that's just more of just like, you know, me wanting you to like be okay, right? Um, lots of gas, and that makes sense because of the truck. Oh, right. Listen, eBay, the gas is bad. eBay, pit stop place, and eBay. Veterans, you're contributing to a veteran thing. Oh, yeah, I signed up for the VFW. Oh, I can't. It's, it's cut off halfway through, so I can't even see. So that's the VFW? Yeah, no, Veterans of Foreign Wars, I think gotcha. that's what it's going to be, VFW. Some animal hospital stuff that's necessary, uh, I assume, typically. And 7-Eleven gas. It was not taquitos. But, again, interest charged this year so far, $3,000 this year. $3,000 this year. How many calculators do you go through? I've never had another one. Really? Not on this show. 2.5% of the money you earn this year. Oh, has been stolen just from this card alone. This card alone. And it's this year so far. This year's not even done. It's actually a couple, like a, more than a month before the year ends with the end of the statement. Oh, this is the 15% loan that you thought I would be happy about? Oh, no, no, no. That, there's another 15% loan I think you'll be happy about. That's something different. What am I in? Honestly, I forget. I Oh, no, I took that out because I thought I was going to buy a mobile home and the deal fell through. And so I I think I used that to consolidate debt, but I didn't do a very what? good job because I still have that. Because you still have all the debt and there are other maxes. The, the debt, yes. Also, your minimum monthly payment is $666 on the uh, Navy Federal. That's insane. Okay. Now, okay. So consumer loan, $5,859. 50 cents. $720 minimum monthly payment. No, 726. Great. So this was consolidation, then you racked it right back up. That's why some people are against that consolidation because people consolidate it and they, they don't fix any of the behavior and then the debt build all the way back up again. I learned that, yeah. No, I'm one of those. You're not a credit card person. Don't I'm use credit cards. Cr End the existence of credit cards in your life. Yes, sir. Not a thing. Okay. So this is my property. It's a 10%. 
with the loan you did. What kind of loan did you do? No, it's 5%. No, you have two 5% on it. Total effective rate, 10%. Did you not look at what you signed up for? Look, here, look. it's your own thing. I did not know that that's what that meant. Def well, the default interest rate, I don't know what that is. I don't know what a default interest rate is. What'd you sign up for? I thought it was 5%, 67. And what kind of more, like, what did you, what so did you apply So owner for? will carry. So it was the, I, basically the, the owner before he financed it and then yeah, right. I pay him through like a title, yeah. title service. Yeah, you're 10%, dude. Yeah, and you're pumping money into this house. It's, hopefully it cash flows. I'd rather you just be throwing money into the market, dude. Not into real estate. Cause it doesn't seem like you understand real estate. I don't understand the market either. No, but at least you just throw it in and forget about it. This you're going to have to actively manage. It's going to take a yeah, lot of I time, like, work, and money. I like, I like it, though. Sure, but I like you being able to retire. This is my retirement. I'm going to retire here. <laughs> you didn't know it was at 10%. I did not know it was at 10%. And also, typically, like, some of the best stock market returns you'll but, get. I mean, some of the best stock market returns you'll get is ten percent, and that's the interest rate on this. You're gonna. You're. I, uh, Are we sure? Because it's default interest rate. I guess. Okay. Listen. 10%. First of all, you sent a screenshot, so it's not a statement. So I can't see all the nitty gritty. I can only see what's right in front of me, and uh, with the it looks like with the clauses and everything in this, the total effective rate, as it says, is ten percent. Okay. Bought a sixty thousand dollar house. Well, it was 90. I had to put some cash down. But it's cheap. Yeah. I got an acre. It's in an area that's going to Airbnb? Yes. So, okay. It's like a half hour from the western rim of the Grand Canyon. Like, the, the area itself is already kind of like a tourist destination. There's a lot of, like, hiking. Um, it's close to the Route 66, like the old Route 66. If the demand's there, why was it so cheap? What's that? If the demand's there, why was it so cheap? Because um, the area itself, the local population is, is pretty poor. And, um, you know, so a lot of locals weren't able to buy it. But, you know, I had the income. People are not going to like that. <laughs> I know. I know. But that's because the property sat for like a year before um, the owner finally did. Owner will carry. And that's why I was able to purchase it. What's your minimum monthly after insurance and everything? Yeah, 10%. 2% higher than the highest mortgage rates that have hit up to this point. I legit thought it was five. I'll have to look into that because well, that's news to me. Anything else? So, Savings a dollar and 24 cents when you have all this debt and you got a house. You don't get a house without a fully funded emergency fund. You usually don't get a rental place or anything like that until you have a personal residence. The amount of risk that that brings to your entire financial future is terrifying. You have no idea. Or something bad's going to happen and that place isn't going to be operable because you won't be able to pay it. And then you're just paying on a mortgage of a place that you can't sell. I don't know. It's very risky, my dude. Very risky. Yeah. But, like, okay. So, with with the property itself, I really think that once I get it up and running, because I did Airbnb for a little bit and I had success with it. If nothing bad happens. If nothing bad happens, yeah. If it's real estate, something bad always happens. But well, okay, you want to talk about real estate. So it's pretty isolated, but in the town between where this is located and Vegas, they're building like a whole new like they're building like a fifty thousand person town. Like yeah. they just approved plans. There's gonna be an Amazon warehouse, uh, two new schools, like a middle school and a high school, um, a water treatment facility. So Dude, this might appreciate that does not change the situation of you having no savings. Yeah, I don't have savings. Your risk profile is not limited because someone's building a town somewhere. But I think that my the asset that I that I do own I hope so. will go up in value. I hope so. I the work that I've done on it, I know it's gone up in value because I've put in like tens of thousands of dollars that you don't even see that I've I've put into this place. Like I put in a new HVAC, I put in a new roof. Um, it had okay. some structural damage I had to fix. All new kitchen, all new uh, countertops. Like I put in, I put in a lot of money, a lot of sweat equity into this place. Okay. Yep. There's five dollars in this checking account. Nothing ever happens in that checking account. No, I don't. I don't even know why I have that one. Zero dollars of any balance in this checking. What's that? Zero dollars any balance in this checking? Well, this is like, you know, from a month ago. They didn't update because they update on the No, 9th. that's terrifying. I don't give a shit. at this exact date there was zero dollars in your checking account. 
Well, I was still healing from a job. I had to take like a month off, so I couldn't really work. So why did we have that spending that we saw then on that did not matter if we could not work? Because I'm not very smart. Correct. <laughs> well, actually, I wouldn't say that, but your spending was not very smart. My spending isn't very smart. Taco Bell, Apple Bell, Wetzel's, Fresh Attractions, something at the airport, bagels. Yeah, at these the are airport. necessary. These are necessary when we when we can't afford to live, right? Can't pay off our credit cards. Interest is accruing zero dollars in our checking account. Verse, verse, a wall. Idema. Oh, oh TSA. TSA pre-check. Um, I'm more a lot of flights. Yeah, the more flight stuff and El Pollo Loco and more stuff at the airport and transfer transfer from line. You have a line of credit against your checking. Oh, that's right. That's the overdraft. Yeah. You make too much money to be overdrafting. And you're choosing, again, Apple Bill, some Venetian place in the Bellagio. And oh, that's parking. Venetian. I get free parking now. I signed up for their veterans thing, so... They, they started charging everywhere for parking on the strip because of F1. This spending when you're overdrafting makes no sense. Cafe, talent testing, 155. You're trying to do something? Apple Bill, Amazon, Amazon. Caropiatus and Apple Bill and pretty nails. Got to get pretty nails. And Club Cappuccino, Amazon. Amazon. Flamingo Hotel because we travel every second of our life. Checking line of credit advance. For my stepbrother. Cool. You can't afford it. Checking line of credit advances. Checking line of credit advance. Give lo, gift gifting is one of my love languages. If I can't afford it, I don't do it because it just if your entire life. We're not doing that. You make too much money. You need to grow up and be responsible with your money, like right now. This is not an option. You have two years of this lucrative job left, and then what? Then what from there? We might make half the income. We might make double, but we might make half. What are we doing then? What are we doing if we're taking this debt into there? If we're taking payday advances now, it's well, time to grow up. I understand that. I am hopeful that when this... Hope is not not a financial plan. Optimistic? It's not a financial plan either. A plan is a plan that you plan, then you execute on. I'm executing the plan of the, the pink flamingo in Arizona taking off and being like a thing. That's the town? That's what I call my my property. Navy Federal being real nice to Navy veterans with those line of credits. I am happy to see fifteen thousand dollars in Schwab. Happy to see that. Not happy for your age, but happy to see that. How much is in your retirement uh, through the military? So the TSP, I just looked that yeah. up. It oh gosh, it, that lost a bunch, but it now it's lost sitting, a bunch. How market performance? Market, yeah. It was it was at like twenty seven for a while, but. That, that was when Trump was in office. I think it's kind of realized it's more actual. It's like 21 now. Wait, I mean, what was it invested in? Because um, depending when uh, during that time period, I mean, the it, S&P 500 is up depending. I don't, th it, some of it was, yeah, like like stocks, but I think I had it in like. Uh, 2020 election. So uh, 2021, he was out of office. And at that point, the peak that was seen then, this is not politics, by the way. This is just showing what the market has been since you're talking about it. Uh, the peak that it would have been would have been uh, 381 in the S&P 500. Right now it's worth 460. So so it's different funds. Why would it be? There's yeah, but what funds, funds did you put it in is what I'm trying to figure out. I, like G fund, I fund. Um, I have it split up. I think I put a little bit into like S, but the one that it's in the bulk, I think it's G. Like they had like 30% like returns. And because, you know, I get a statement every year. And then, you know, when the election happened, it, like, tanked. It went down, like, Okay, 20%. how much is in there? Like, about 21000 Okay. And there's fifteen in there. Still behind for your age, but I am glad. There's a foundation. There's a foundation to build upon. Yeah, and I invested in a bunch of stupid stuff, but yeah, I've been... Yeah, lots of individual stocks. Doing and then these, because these have been doing well, and... Yeah, I, that's just the S&P 500, yeah. Yeah. That's what I was just... That's what I was just reading yeah. off of. Uh, and then about, what would, what would we say? About 20%, 20, uh, 15, 20% of our portfolio is in six individual stocks, five individual stocks. T-Mobile, Unrivaled Brands. These are all weird That's a... T-Mobile. A T-Mobile isn't, but the rest are... Classic. And then this <laughs> one is um, like a 
energy company, I think. But yeah, I, the, the, I, f I thought it'd be like, I bought all this like years ago and I was still in the Navy. So a lot of these are from like 10 years ago. I thought it'd be legal by now, but I was wrong. What do you mean? I mean, in most places, isn't it? Well, federally to where, you know, these companies will, you know, cause it's, it's still cash. And so they have to like basically trade on like tertiary industries. Um, but once I think it's federal legally and the banking on that industry kind of levels out and they can like trade it like they do commodities, I'm hopeful that those will come back. Okay. If. Yeah, we had a total income of 5,622. So slower month, total spending of 6,142. Food, 300 bucks. Necessary food, 150. Extra bull taquitos, about 150. Taquitos. taquitos on the show. I it's know. It's just things you're just going Don't extra okay. purchases you know whether it be gas station or then i buy a lot of taquitos yes yes and then unknown shopping is a huge percentage almost seven percent let's see i know shopping is usually amazon because we don't know what that is yes amazon ebay and walmart walmart was that was like pet food and like toilet paper stuff like that ebay ebay my running shoes i bought those used they're usually a hundred dollars i bought them for 40 the thing is, is you shouldn't even have to be able to you, would, you shouldn't even have to need to do that. What's your plan, man? You seem you have your mind set up, set out on this on this house thing. Like, what do you want me to do here? I, what, what should I do? Like, obviously, you know, I've been all the money that I made this last month. I put it, you know, towards debt. So thousand um, dollars. No, I put like probably four four grand towards all my debts. Well, not the that we saw. No, this was very very recently. Okay. Like the end of the month, I did like. Really, what prevents really you well. from building it back up? Like you did the one time you consolidated and then built it all back up again. Um, I had some like housing issues. I had to move a lot. That ate into a lot of money. Um, just you know, stupid. I I did buy a lot of stupid. Admittedly. Let's get you a budget. Okay. You're gonna go through our budgeting program and you'll get your good official budget, and that will help you through a lot of this stuff. But let's give just like a loose. Where are we at? Rent. What's your rent? So my rent is, all right, this is a housing hack. So one of the personal loans, I purchased a mobile home in a park. And the rent at the mobile home park is 380 bucks a month. So, and the mobile home was like $20,000. So. That you have, that you, it's paid for? I'm sorry. Or well, I used one of the it? personal loans. But, you know, considering that rents in Vegas, even like a apartment in the worst part of town yeah, but you've got a depreciating asset i do but it's still an asset that i could sell for even if it's not what i what i purchased it for you know i'd be spending twenty thousand in rent in a year at any other place you know uh like a one bedroom apartment in vegas is probably about 1500 bucks it went up it's insane um the one place i was at it was a very modest apartment it was seventeen hundred dollars this even with the the money that I'm spending on the um, with the rent and the the loan with interest, it's still cheaper than an apartment. And I have a yard. Um, the place where I live, I walk everywhere. Like I walk to the gym, I walk to the grocery store. The only time I drive is when I got to go to work. And yeah, yeah, it is a depreciating asset. But you know, I even if I sold it for like. 10,000 had I rented a place I'd throw away the same amount of money and I'd be lucky if I got my security deposit back uh 262 one bedroom places right now that are renting under a thousand two hundred in the Vegas area okay and I've lived in some of those places and when I get home nah, so now the reason is changing no listen to this I get home crack a dawn with a bunch of cash not worth it not worth it where okay. I live, the reason it's very changed safe. though. It's very safe, but no, those places they're rough. Like there's some places in Vegas that are very. I bet very some areas rough. are rough. Uh, I definitely bet some areas are rough. However, this covers like the entire map. This is like all over Vegas, so I'm not. I'm not sure every single place is that terrible. Allow pets. Most places would love to take your pet fees. I'm not paying a pet fee. I don't oh, okay. pay a pet well, fee here. All right, all right. So, okay. I don't pay a pet fee at the park. What's your rent? 380 bucks. Okay. Cool. Utilities? 
Um, so internet, electric, gas, trash, sewer, all that stuff combined. So gas, trash, sewer is all covered under rent. So is the mm. water. My electric nice. bill. The most I ever spent on the electric here, running two ACs in the summer, like twenty four seven, was like one hundred fifty bucks. My internet's about a hundred. And what was the other thing you said? Uh, you covered it under the what's covered. Okay. What about your phone bill? Uh, like 50 bucks. Not bad. Yeah, I got a prepaid plan. Very nice. I'm running out of ink. Um, health insurance. I get it all covered through the VA. Oh, right, 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 right. Yep. Jim, what's your gym again? Like 40 bucks. Mm-hmm. Let's get your minimum monthly debt payments. Oh my gosh, your debt minimum monthly payments are insane. This is why you have to live in the trailer. I choose to live in the trailer. I really like it. I know, but I, this this uh, you kind of have to, because we uh, basically four thousand dollars. It's three thousand eight hundred sixty seven dollars goes to minimum monthly debt payments. Minimum. Yes. Food. You live alone. Yes. Three hundred. Hope you're fun. Anything else you need? Makeup, all that good stuff. Hundred. Uh, how much for the pets? Um, maybe like another two hundred a month. Okay. I have a lot of critters, so. Oh my gosh! I just keep getting heartburn. I'm gonna steal a pocket, Tom. Anything else you need to survive? Oh, car, uh, gas. How much in gas and car insurance? Golly, that's a lot. Probably like a couple hundred at least. Three hundred, four hundred, maybe with insurance. Maybe closer to 500 because I have my, my renter's whoa, 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 insurance whoa, 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 and stuff. 500? I mean, yeah. so I just paid. But that's not gas. No, All not insur- gas. I was doing insurance and gas. That's, oh, it's 500 altogether? Probably about that, yeah. Maybe like 250 in gas. And then, yeah, what's nice about where I live is I can like walk a lot of places. So I try to do that. I only drive when I like have to. All right. So we need, there's no reason this debt should exist. It's unacceptable. Are you contractors? Flipper W2. I'm contractor. I'm 1099. Are you saving 30% aside for taxes? No, because we have $2 in savings. What are you going to do? Have you paid taxes for the last year? I paid uh, 2021s. I, ha- I still owe 2022. I How much do you owe? I know. A lot. A lot. How a much? Lot. Like, I, I had an accountant. I How think, much? I think it's about maybe 60 if, if, if oh. I... Yes. If my what is this? Why? Why? Why'd you even tell me? What am I supposed to do? Because you asked like four times. I didn't want to. No, why haven't you told me this entire episode? <laughs> you said you didn't have any other debts. I forgot about that one. It's a big one to forget about. It's just as, it's almost as much as your house. Yes, I owe a lot of and money. And you're not saving up for. And this year's done in a month. I know. I'm. Can you <laughs> can you write off your? Books? Unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> Ah! unfortunately i'm not uh, i looked into that and so the funny thing with that is that if you get something like that done it has to be like so physically uncomfortable but like like you ever see those women with like the massive ones that they're just like how the hell those women can get their written off but because mine are like i get i derive personal pleasure out of them then you can't write it off they, they have to be, like, so large that they cause, like, physical discomfort in order for you to, like, write something like that off. So if you owe 60000 from last year, you're probably going to owe 60000 for this year, right? Um, My income in the summer took a huge dip. Maybe, like, forty this year? According to your maybe, income, closer to that? Maybe, yeah. So another forty we will add to it. So we owed a total, total of $100,000 to the IRS. <laughs> what are we doing? What is this? Is this a show? <laughs> oh, God. Dude, how, why have you not gone on a payment plan? I need to talk to my accountant. I have an accountant. I've been avoiding them. The accountant or the IRS? Both. Yeah, I was going to say, because we are uh, in the last month of this year. I know. I filed for an extension, and then I, I didn't have it because it was bad. And What is it? What is it? Oh. <laughs> One second. Let me do some math. I mean, maybe it's less than 60. I'd, I'll have to check the email. Maybe Maybe closer to 40. So really, eight thousand four hundred dollars a month is what you have. You, did you say you make ten or twelve? Because you change. You said both. It varies. I'd say with the Average. VA. Oh, the VA. Yeah, that's right. Probably, and you know, we're kind of in a silent depression. Like when I first started, I mean, it was like 
it was so easy. My my average earnings were like fifteen hundred dollars. Now they've probably gone to down to like eleven or twelve. So you know, it the the industry as a whole has has gotten a little bit more you know precarious. I guess people less horny. No, it's just you know it, they're a luxury item, and we're the first line item to get cut in a lot of people's budgets. So um, you know, and and. F1 was a bust. A lot of people thought F1 was going to be really good. F- I lost money on F1 because um, mm. we have to pay to work, essentially. We pay mm. anywhere from $90 to $150 every time we want to go into work. Why? Um, During F1 or always? Always. Why? Um, that's just how it works. No, what's the mo- where does it go? It goes to the house. It's your okay, house fee. Okay. And then you have to, like, you know, tip out on whatever you earn. But... Um, I'm just trying to see. Okay, so ten thousand dollars a month on average. Set thirty aside. Obviously, well, three thousand dollars, obviously. So seven thousand dollars plus the two thousand. So nine thousand dollars is what you have after VA and setting aside money for taxes, giving us an extra three thousand three hundred thirteen dollars a month. That's what you should have if you follow my budget. The IRS is what scares me, man. Scares me. They That's scare me too. Huge. I know. I know. I need to get on it that. It scares you. You haven't set money aside. You spent money on and f- you this year instead of not only just not paying last year's taxes, but not even saving up for this year's taxes. So what's even the point? I mean, should I sell the Schwab, the index, and put it towards? Uh, wait, what's it in? S and P five hundred. No, no, no. Like, what kind of account is it? So like it's a, an investment account. Just a brokerage? Yeah, a broker? just a brokerage sure. account. It's, I not, think, it's not a rollover of any kind? What's that? Like an IRA? No, I don't have one of those. It's usually the last thing I want to do. One of the last things I want to do. Still, the interest on these debts, I mean, there's no way the market's going to beat that on average. It might make sense. It, 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 it might make sense. Because I don't want to get rid of it either because it, it is even doing well. House, it's not, it's, even the house it might not beat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You kidding me? Right now, you have two hundred twelve thousand dollars of outstanding debt. The only thing that's considered an asset is sixty-seven thousand of it. The rest of it, death debt. That is including the upcoming IRS debt that you won't be able to pay for taxes of this year. So, first of all, we're setting thirty percent aside for everything that comes in. Okay. It goes into a high yield savings account. I use SoFi for my own personal tax money. You can use whatever you want. Always, forever, never anything else anymore. 30% immediately set aside. Not a question. Do I have this by the $3,313 we have left on a monthly basis? Please, please, please. That's actually not terrible. It's actually not the worst in the world. It's five years. So when I'm setting aside money to save for a new purchase, like a car or a home or taxes or whatever I'm saving money for, like an emergency fund, I'm using SoFi. It's a 4.6% yield on my money, and it's just absolutely incredible. Why not take advantage of that free return on the money that's just sitting there? And there's great bonuses for signing up all the way up to $250 if you sign up using the link in the description below. It's literally free money. I use it. You should too. It's five years, and that's including setting aside money for taxes already. For future taxes. It's five years. I don't want you to be in a dangerous situation by any means. So that's not even a question. But if you're able to do this job in a non-dangerous way for five years, continue the income that you're at, you can get you can get fully out of this situation. I don't know what you're going to do after this job. Um, I might work, keep working it if I keep making the income. I'm not going to walk yeah. away from that income. Well, just well I like again, it. the danger thing. But either way. And you said you'd only do it for five years. Either way, I don't know what your income is going to be like afterwards, and you couldn't live off half your income. Uh, if you maintain this income at another job or whatever, it'll take five and a half years. Call it six years after having a fully funded emergency fund. Nah. How much should be in an emergency fund? Whatever it takes for you to live on a minimal basis like the budget I laid out uh, for six months. We'll call it six years. But that's, that's a very long time. In the human perspective... Six year. I mean, you're gonna be in year one of six years. You're gonna be like, I gotta continue. I can't go out to eat. I can't do this. I can't do anything. If I want to take care of the mess that I got myself in, what do I do for the other five years? Year two, it's gonna feel forever. Year three, it's gonna feel forever. Four, you're still shooting the end of the tunnel. Five, you'll be like guns are blazing. Let's go. We're almost done. But it takes a long time to get there. You've dug yourself a hole beyond holes. The IRS situation has made this one of the most wild situations I've seen oh, Lord. ever. Oh, God. Okay. Well, it's okay. It's not a competition. <laughs> uh, 
I want you to get out of it. Win. I want you to get out of it. I mean, the path is the path is clear. The path is clear. One. Well, first of all, how, how many hours a week are you working? So I go in. I come on. Research how many hours a week are you in, working? Like maybe like twelve. Okay, you work twelve hours a week. Congratulations. Go work in an extra forty. Or 46. Go work an extra 46 doing whatever. Whether it be Uber Eats, whether it be anything. I don't care. Whatever it is that brings in more money takes this from six years total to maybe four years total. The more you can compound your way through this debt, you know, whether you're killing high interest first or the low balance first, whatever way you're doing it, you're getting extra money in your pocket every time you pay off a debt that gets rolled into the next debt. And you're going to be going quicker. So the quicker we can start paying off one debt at a time, this goes from six years to four years. So you work 12 hours a week. That's actually great. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that because you're doing that, making $120,000 a year. That's a dream. Okay. I'm also not mad at that because that gives us so much opportunity to go make more money. It's going to be outside of the the world, right? I assume. And I also want to point out, so our club, it used to be 24 hours. And so I could go in during day shifts. And then we we went to like from nine to six. So Mm -hmm. I could only work night shifts. And that my sleep schedule. And it's like... Sure. Working like three, four days in a row. Like that's... No, 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 no. no. Stay on, stay on that schedule. Stay, stay on that schedule. Nine to six. Uh, How many days do you work there? Like, so we go in six hour shifts. I probably work like two or three nights a week. I go in based on hotel prices. Like if hotel, hotel prices are are pretty high, I go in and work. We might just go into work every day. Even if we're not. I know, but I got to pay 150 bucks every time I go. You're going to make more than that, right? I mean, if we're at 120,000. It it averages, like I said, it's been rough. There've been times where I've gone in and, you know, you lose 200 with the buy-in and tip out. It's fine. So it's like a risk every time you go in. It's fine. You know the math. You know the math. If it's not justifiable to go in that day, totally okay. We're doing like overnight shelf stocking somewhere. It's crap you do not want to do. Crap no one wants to do. You're doing it. So that by the time you're 40, you're not dying trying to pay off this debt. This retirement plan for the house only works. Well, it it takes a lot to work. But either way, regardless of any other criteria that's necessary, it only works if you're not dying in the rest of this hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt. Bad debt. It's not a retirement plan. It's not a retirement plan if you have four times of it. Four times its value in bad debt. This forty thousand is likely not going to be paid immediately. I would try to get a on a payment plan for these. Try to get a payment plan. I don't want to play the risk it game of just waiting until we have a lump sum to throw at it. They're the ones with the guns. <laughs> you thought you seen some scary, scary stuff at the club. Wait till you see the IRS with a high income earner who hasn't paid their taxes. That will give you nightmares. So we're not dealing with it anymore. We're growing up. We're mature. We're going to act like we're in our 30s now. We're setting money aside for taxes. We're not spending money on bull****. We're working extra hours. We're trying to take this down from six years to fuck it, even three years. Nah, probably not. Four years, four and a half years until you've paid off every single bad, every single debt because there's not a single line of good debt here. I mean, that 10% on the mortgage kind of sucks too. So every single debt plus a six-month emergency fund. But then... I don't know what your income situation looks like after that, which also makes me a little nervous. We'll have to have another conversation around then. Uh, I know it's a while from now, but we'll need to because I'm also scared for your retirement. You have a good base. You are behind for your age. And if we're 100% focusing for the next four and a half in the best ideal scenario at paying off this debt, we're going to be dramatically behind on investing. But we kind of have to because the market's not going to beat these interest rates that are on these debts anyway. And IRS is not an option. So... At that point, we're going to start contributing like 30, 35, maybe 30, 30% of our money to retirement on a monthly basis. But we don't know how much we're bringing in at that point because we don't know if you want to be in this job. You don't know if you want, you're even going to be in this job by then. You don't know if you're going to be making money in this job. If you're in the job, there's a lot of if ands, buts. My thing is, is if I'm still pulling in comparable to what I'm pulling in now, I'm going to, even if I'm 45, 50. Yeah, like, sure. And you said the word if. So, I mean, that's the question. If not, I don't know. And I do not want you dying on the Walmart floor when you're 70 because you never saved up enough money to retire because you're trying to pay this month's rent because you never saved up enough money for down payment on a primary residence. I guess you'll have the camper, but those things uh, depreciate and they don't last as long in good quality. 
as you know an actual house in terms of repairs you do to it that actually makes sense so i don't know i'm sorry i don't, I, I know this is such a debbie downer episode and i'm so sorry i knew you're gonna yell at me i i knew it i well know. these numbers damn right <laughs> i'm only giving you the tough love that i personally want that i personally would do for me and i'm only giving you the jokes that i like people to do to me as well uh so this is how i give it it's time to work your off there's really no other choice time to grow up work your off. any final thoughts any questions just work 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 twerk 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 yeah, twerk. Twerk, 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 yeah when it comes to spending in a budget it certainly wasn't the best but it wasn't the worst either she was putting money some money towards the debt some money towards saving so two out of ten certainly not good by any means speaking of not good the debts if i could give it a negative score i would zero out of ten emergency fund there's nothing zero out of ten retirement certainly behind for age but decent foundation to start with four out of ten real estate not really liking what she was doing there but at least she has equity position into a home and then also a mobile one as well so i'm gonna do three out of ten for that that's a hammer financial score two out of ten make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below they are what i use or would use in specific situations including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet thanks to all of our patreon producers for making this episode possible if you want to participate in an episode of financial audit and you're able to make it to austin texas please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below you can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show if you have any questions, you can email casting at calopammer.com.